Well, welcome back. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more lively. Uh, it's still going to be messy, but the next question is one of those where the sign, or in this case the monkey, is hanging. So I'll start by trying to draw the, uh, the monkey. So we've got a, a wall here and a ceiling here. And then we've got a cute little monkey here who's hanging by a string. And the question is, um, here I'll try to do a different color for the, for the lines. If he's hanging by a string that's coming down here and then it goes straight across here, we'll call this uh, T1 and we'll call this T2. Okay, so if this is the case for the monkey, then how do we find out the tension on these lines? Well, the first thing to do is to figure out um, the force of gravity that's acting downwards on this monkey, right? So the force of gravity uh, will simply be the mass of this monkey multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity. So that'll be, um, in this case, the question said it was a 34 kilogram monkey. And of course we know the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. So the force on that downwards will be uh, 333.54. So that's 333.54. Oops, I missed a three. Wow, that's hard to read. And that's the force going downward. So what we've calculated here is the force of gravity acting down on the monkey. And knowing this, we actually know since the monkey isn't being isn't moving downwards or moving upwards, we know that this component of the triangle above is actually equal but opposite. So this component is also in magnitude 333.54. So that's the uh, the force acting here. Now this is actually a little triangle. So we've got a right angle triangle here. So we found. Um, one part of a right angle triangle and in this corner here I can't try to write it in there so I'll just put it out here we're given an angle and we're given that the angle is 24 degrees so now really the rest of the whole question is trigonometry we're going to use uh, our trig uh, to solve the various parts of the triangle and understand which way they're working um, my hypotenuse Toa opposite over adjacent, so Katoa. So you can see here that we've got uh, you know a string acting this way towards the wall and a string acting this way towards the ceiling. And really this component of T2, the horizontal component, must be balanced with the tension that's on T1. And uh, we already know the vertical component of T2 is what we found out here, equal but opposite to the force of gravity. So we're simply going to do some trig to figure this out. So uh, first, um, I'm going to find uh, maybe this part here. So that's no problem. I'm going to find that. So to find x, that would be adjacent. Uh, this would be opposite. So I can find um, saying that the tan of the angle uh, is equal to, or up here, the opposite over the adjacent. Now I'm trying to find adjacent, so I'm going to multiply this side by A. If I do it on one side of the equation, I have to do the other, so I'm going to multiply that side by A. And that would be tan angle A uh, equals opposite, and then I'm going to divide tan out on both sides. So I end up with saying, well, the adjacent side will be equal to the opposite over the tan of our angle. And so in this case, we're going to do... Um, our opposite, which is this 333, the angle is 24, so 333.54 divided by the tan of 24 degrees, and that should give us um, a result of 749.14. So that's 749.14, and that'll be a Newton. So that tells us this piece here, so X is this angle here. Now um, we know that that is the case for like T1 is equal but opposite in direction to this X so we could already give up one of our answers if we wanted to. We could say that uh, the T1 string is equal to uh, sig digs here is just 2 actually. Uh, that makes it a bit muddier but we can say it's 7.5 uh, times 10 to the 1, 2, 2 Newtons, then you have to give it a direction so it's pulling towards the wall. So in that case, that's left. 
Okay, so that would be left. Now, uh, to find T2, uh, we're going to simply do more trigonometry. So T2 is this angle here, which is the hypotenuse of um, our right angle triangle that we've been done here. So we're going to do something with hypotenuse, either so or ka. In this case, I would use sine because I like to use um, as close to our original calculation, which was this one here for the force of gravity as we can. So I'm going to use opposite to get to, to this. So um, my base that I'm starting with will be simply the sine of our angle uh, equals opposite over hypotenuse. Now I'm trying to find hypotenuse, so again I'm going to multiply both sides by h and then divide by the angle. So uh, what I'm going to work out here is that the hypotenuse, which is T2, will be the uh, opposite divided by the sine of our angle, uh, which will be uh, 333.54 divided by the sine of 24. And I should have that worked out already. That's 820, 820.03 newtons. So when we're reporting it, the magnitude of T2 to the correct significant digits, which is 2, will be 8.2 times 10 to the second power in newtons. Now um, that's the magnitude but you have to figure out the angle. The easy, there's many ways. Um, I consider like well if I extended this out here I know that this angle and this angle have to add up to 90 uh, so if I've got 24 degrees up here then I'm gonna get uh, 66 down here so you can see that that is you know going from the horizon or going from east that is 66 degrees so I would just say um, that were 8.2 times 10 to the second newtons, that's the tension, uh, at 66 degrees uh, north of east. And we're done. A little more uh, involved, but uh, make sure to include your directions, make sure to watch your significant digits. And here, it really all boiled down to uh, trigonometry. Thanks.